Hello lovely pen people, welcome back to my channel. It's Daisy here and today we're gonna do sort of a two in one video. So obviously with my last video, I opened a load of ink samples that I'm gonna use for 30 days, 30 inks, or 30 inks, 30 days. I, rem oh, I should have written that down before um, I started. But this one garnered quite a little bit of attention in the comments and also oh, I just really really want to try it and clearly I don't have enough self-control to wait and I'm also going to be answering Chris Sands or Sands oh, I'm really sorry you know that I can't pronounce literally anything I'm going to be doing the fountain pen hobby tag so the other was it last night or the, the day before anyway I was watching one of Mary's older videos so it was the um, fountain pen hobby tag which actually isn't that old I mean it was only January but we're in March now I just can't believe it and in that video she did a beautiful zentangle and I tried to do it myself and it, it didn't turn out particularly well for saying that most of my working life I worked in makeup. I'm very disappointed in how unsteady my hand <laughs> um, came out to be. But it was so relaxing to do and it was also just so relaxing to watch her um, do it as well. And hers looked absolutely incredible. So I'm going to be trying out this ink and I'm going to try it on Tomorrow River paper. I'm going to try it on Rhodia paper and then just some normal printer paper as well which is probably gonna make me feel sick so it's gonna lock me in so sorry my mum just called me and i don't know where <laughs> i was yeah i'm just gonna ink this up in the 992 and i've got a bit of water stuck in the section oh god it's so gorgeous oh <laughs> that didn't work Oh, maybe it's because I was twisting it the wrong way. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Oh no, it's all over my fingers. <sighs> you know what? That will do. That will do, donkey. That will do. Oh no. Oh well. I'm really sorry if this annoys you throughout the video because I know it's going to annoy me. So I'm just going to sort of write questions out and answer them and then in between I'll be sort of swatching it on different papers and stuff like that. So the first question is, and this is a fine nib by the way, do you have a favourite ink brand? I don't really know, I've tried like a, a few different brands but I don't think that I've tried sort of enough to get a, a feel for the whole brand the brand that i've got most of is diamine so if you're going on that maybe diamine but i really like sailor ink so i've got a few of those and i haven't apart from sakura because i actually hate the color apart from like that one i do like it so i don't really know what i'm doing here i'm just winging it Not quite sure. So I thought I'd do a couple of splooges. Oh no. Oh no. Oopsie. Oh no. That didn't really work out very well. Although it's like blowing. I'm blowing a balloon. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> That's amazing. So cool, I'm just gonna sort of bloop it on. Wow! I don't want to pop it now, but I feel like I need to. Oh my gosh. Wow! Oh my gosh. That is the coolest little splat splodge that I've ever ever done in my life. So So, how many pen pals do you have 
This question is going to be super quick because I actually don't have any. I would like to, as it stands at the moment, I don't have anyone. No one wants to be my pen friend. So, are you all done buying fountain pens? Um, I would say for now that I have. So, I mainly have sort of start pens or cheaper pens at the moment and I'm happy with what I've got and I think that I want to explore a little bit more in what maybe I would want in something that's a little bit more higher end in a pen before I sort of take the plunge because obviously they're so expensive. I'm so scared in case I get one and I've spent all this money and I really dislike it. So number four So how many people have you spread the fountain pen fever to? Rosier paper. So no one really, but also sort of at the same time. So I've tried to get my partner into fountain pens. I mean, and that's just gone down like a lead balloon. They're just not bothered basically. My mum sort of, so the sort of answer is my mum, so my mum used to be really into calligraphy, she had her own calligraphy business, she did um, some certificates for like the, uh, I don't know, some like sports stuff that was, um, I mean I don't know, I mean this is way before I was born, but seeing me with like my fountain pens and how happy and how zen they make me feel it's she's sort of gone uh got back into her, that hobby of calligraphy so it's sort of but not really again i absolutely have no clue what i am doing here so i'll show you a little bit more close up so my issue is i keep trying to look what I'm writing through the camera, well, my phone, and I'm just writing all over the place. And points to anyone who recognises that lovely little smiley paper clip at the top as well. So, the, so basically I just need to concentrate on what I'm doing, so I might have to pull it, if it goes out of frame a little bit, I am sorry. So who influenced you into the hobby? And I'm not really quite sure. I mean, I used to use those disposable fountain pens in school. You know, the, I don't know if, it, maybe it was Pilot, like the V pens. But I have always been into fountain pens, but it was sort of, I'd say it's sort of been an extension of my sort of art journey over the past year or so. I've really been getting back into art. I was using like, drawing inks and then inks made me think of fountain pen obviously i know that you never ever ever put drawing ink in any fountain pen and i never have and i never will but it just sort of like spot re -spot that interest and i sort of had a look on youtube and watching some videos that just made me fall in love a little bit more and over again oh my gosh i cannot spell So number six is favourite fountain pen friendly paper and that one for me is an easy one. I'd definitely say the Tomoe River paper. It just makes every ink that you lay down on it just look absolutely stunning and I just really appreciate the way that it brings out the best in your fountain pen inks. Other than that I've used um, Clairefontaine, um, Rhodia, I use Clairefontaine a lot for my work notes and stuff like that. Two. Number seven. Have I ever thought about quitting or leaving the pen hobby? And that is a big fat no, basically. Definitely a no. Who knows? I mean, I might end up absolutely falling out of love with phantom pens in the future, but I very much highly doubt it. So if you could meet any famous fountain pen person, who would it be? I think what I'd really like to do is I'd like to have, I think I'd just like to have like a nice, like lovely meal or drinks or just something with 
like my favorite fountain pen YouTubers really. So if I was to pick three, it would probably be Manda B. I absolutely love her video. Whoopsie squeaky. Manda B, Mary, she just honestly brightens my day with her videos and she's just so relaxing and calming to listen to and it just feels like you're speaking with an old friend almost. I'm at Sarah so she can give me like a million history lessons in one. I mean I think, I mean there's so many more I could go on but those three are my um, top favourites I would say. I think we can safely say that it bleeds through on copy paper. What pens would I like to own? And it, I think she says it can be either more or less than what you've got at the moment. So at the moment I've got 24, I think. Oops. I think I would like to have 20. I think that's a sort of a nice number that's not too extravagant oh my gosh i've got ink all over my phone from that so basically i can just have a little bit of a variation of which pen i want to use so again we'll leave this to dry and i'm going to clean this little little bit up because <laughs> i don't want it to stay my desk so i've cleaned my desk up and we're now on number 10 Oh gosh, I think I've just squidged the last couple of ones in here. So this one is favourite pen case and that's a really quick and easy one. I actually don't have one so I haven't got a, um, an answer for it. I do have one on the way which I may be making a video about when it arrives because I may have found an extremely affordable dupe to a more expensive pen case but we shall see but at the moment my pens are all just stored in here i try as much as i can to buy my pens second hand so when i receive them they are already a little bit scratched anyway um, number 11 is if you could go to any pen show in the world which one would you go to um, I'd probably go to the London Pen Show, that's probably um, like the biggest one closest to me. I mean, there is one in Birmingham, but I'm not sure how big that would be. And it, I'm not quite sure if it would be as exciting as the London one. And then also, I'd like to go to the San Francisco one, because everyone seems to say that on in these videos. And I want to be where everyone else is, basically. Last question is, how much space do you dedicate to the hobby? And it's about as much as I've left room for that last question. Um, I don't dedicate a lot of space to it. I mean, I do have a couple of inks dotted about my desk and my bookcase next to my desk as sort of decoration. But everything else goes in this box here. It's one of my pens got delivered in, in it. And obviously this guy has reused um, this box that he's received with tons of stamps on it. And it just it's just so beautiful. It makes me so happy. Even though it's just like an ordinary cardboard, cardboard box. And it has, <gasps> oh, it has everything um, in here. So I've got some inks converters etc etc so that's how much space i give to the hobby give to the hobby dedicate to the hobby so i will show you what it the um the ink looks like in writing obviously up here um there was still a little bit of water in the uh, converter um or the, or the section that sort of um diluted it slightly but as you go down further I would have thought that would have been a little bit more shading in the writing. I mean, you can see there is some, but not a massive, humongous amount. No sort of sheen. I mean, you can see a lit, tiny little bits of sheen in some of the numbers. 
but generally not that much. Um, and then on the different paper, so Tomoe rubber paper, there's that gorgeous little splat. This is what it looks like. A little bit of sheening, nothing massive, a little bit of shading. Look at this. Woo, gosh, that looks so interesting. It looks like neon green on the other side. What? So you can see there's been like a tiny little bit of bleed through um, here and there. Um, the ghosting's pretty bad, but it is to my way of the paper. And I just can't believe that it. it's gone neon green this side of the paper. I'm so confused. Hmm. I like that colour actually. So radio paper. Um, the shading on, on here looks really, really good on the radio paper. Impressed with that. Who'd have it? And then let's have a look on the other side. Um, yeah, really bad bleed through. I think it'd be all right if you're just writing um, on it. I mean, wait, you, you can see where the writing was. I mean, it's very little um, shadow in it as well, to be honest. But that's and that one. And then last of all, we have the copy paper. I'm not expecting fantastic things from this. So this one, again, the, the shading looks absolutely stunning on it. Feathering wise, let me try and write something. I'm gonna write this one. I'm just gonna see if it feathers when you write. It's not too horrendous. I mean, there is definitely feathering. It's not horrendously bad. Um, or anything like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't use this ink on copy paper. I mean, this is like literally the cheapest um, printer paper that you can get. You've got a little bit of ghost and a tiny little bit of bleed through in the writing and massive bleed flip and massive bleed through on everything else as well. But the shading looks really nice. I mean, if you didn't have any other paper, um, it's not horrific if you were just going to use one side. And so that concludes my little exploration with Noodler's Victoria's Royal Mint. And that's everything from me today. So I shall see you all soon. Bye.